The benefit of using video in education seems obvious. However, in the past, the use of video has often seemed like a square peg parachuted into a round hole. To avoid a hit and miss approach to this project, we developed a set of videos for teaching a specific set of clinical nursing skills in one of our undergraduate nursing modules. Previously, the skills had been taught by a demonstration and practice technique. This method is very effective for teaching small numbers. However, since nursing has moved to the university, our class sizes have increased dramatically. We were concerned about the quality of the learning experience for our students and the lack of opportunity to revise clinical skills. Making the skills videos available online allowed the students an opportunity to view the videos in depth before classes and allowed for revision afterwards. So how do the students feel about this? Well, let's roll the dice and find out. What I found very useful about them was that they're available, um, they're available online all the time and uh, this is especially useful I suppose from um, my perspective in that I can access them from home. Just the flexibility that you don't have to sit in a classroom, you don't have to be with a group of people to learn, you don't have to, it's not put on you to take it all in straight away, you know, you just can do it in your own time, so. I actually went through them and I'd pause them and then I'd take down a few notes and then carry on with the video and pause at another point and take a few notes and again just from that point of view you think you know a, um, a process until you actually go and look at it and break it down in detail. I think it appeals to different people how they learn and um, not everybody learns by sitting in a lecture hall. I find I learn from seeing things being done rather than reading from a book so learn the practical even just the little tips of how to put the cuff on and the fact seeing that it was other students that were carrying out the skills was great as well, it gives you a bit of confidence. I still go back and look over them, particularly when I'm on placement, because there's things that you don't incur every day, you don't see all the time, do you know the way, so you might be able to go back and have a look over them. And It's very useful to be able to go back in and just bring yourself back up to speed before you go out in placement. I think it's a great backup to have, to be able to, in your own time, go in and refresh yourself. This year we did um, clinical skills but we were mainly just observing them, we didn't actually participate in them. Even so it would have been great to be able to access one say on catheterisation because when we went out on skills, these were skills we were expected to participate in. So um, it would have been great to be able to access them to refresh yourself while on placement. We didn't actually have videos um, used uh, in learning th this year and I did notice uh, the difference myself, I, f I found there was an absence there whereas the previous semester we had access to the particular skills we were doing and I found it very useful. I think the best thing was that they were very well done and that you could access them in your own time. My mum was very interested in them, she used to sit and watch them with me. <laughs> I couldn't get rid of her when it was revised and she's like, oh, let me check. We conducted a student evaluation of the project. The findings were very positive and formed the basis for two peer-reviewed publications. Some of the videos have been made available to all third level institutions on the NDLR. They have been used for nurse education in Africa and the production process has been adopted as a template for teaching clinical nursing skills in the School of Nursing. Mm -hmm.